Chris Brown. <laughs> Chris Brown, what were you thinking? So every time I see this story, it is like um, he had the ideal brand name. He was so many things going right for his product. But now what do you think about his reputation? And how do you think it's changing his brand? Oh, he always, everyone has a brand. He definitely has a brand. Not a positive brand. What do you think he would need to do now to repair his not so positive brand? He had to volunteer? Apologize? Got it. Got it. You think it's too late for him? Huh? <laughs> oh, that's a good thing. Once you get married, everything goes away. Uh, but this was really, really tragic. I mean, I, yes, he's a person, and what happens to Rihanna is, is, is insanity. No, no person should have to go through that. But outside of that, as a marketer, I'm looking like this guy had so much potential. He could have been Raven Simone 2.0. Um, but one little incident change your brand forever, because that's what people remember. It's not your music, it's not just about how you can dance, it's what your product is when you put it to the market. Alright, next one. Wow, that's tough. Okay. Michelle Obama, she's very, very interesting as a product. How does her reputation support the first lady brand? I think she Back to Jackie O, very classic first lady, and she just accomplished what she Got it. What does this picture tell you about the first lady, the brand, or her interpretation of it? It's classy. Anybody notice anything else? This is her official White House photo, by the way. Yes, ma'am. She wasn't sleeveless. She wasn't sleeveless. She's not with her husband, yeah, honestly. What else do you think about her, her, Michelle Obama, versus the traditional first lady? Outside of the obvious. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. I was saying that she looks like she holds her own, like independent, versus other wives are with their husbands. Yeah. Yeah. Fashion conscious? All excellent points. And I think. Her as a product is very interesting because she's not just a first lady, she's a lawyer. She's a very successful lawyer, but more than anything, she's rebranding what it means to be the first lady. It's like Cartoon Network is rebranding what it means to be Cartoon. All right, last one. <laughs> this is Mr. George Bush. Talk about your reputation once you leave a job. You guys are all in the same, hopefully not the same, but the same predicament he was in when he started the last term. It's the last chance, the last stage that he's on. So this is your last stage that you're on for most of you, either go to your senior year or come out of school very quickly. So he's a great case, a great case of, of, of personal branding in action and what it means and what legacy you want to leave. That's really what this is. Um, so this is it for our exercise. Who, what have we got for our scores? Uh, well, you know, Hillary really held it down for the entertainment campus. Thank you, Hillary. But Sophia pulled away. Six to three. Sophia, give Sophia a hand. <laughs> Robot Chicken Adventure Brothers from Adventure Time. <laughs> All right. Personal branding, it is not just about the product, it's about when you become the product. So, a brand is a collection of perceptions in the mind of the city. It is what is going to make you different. It's different from you, the person. It's not just about your name or your resume. It's the intangible that exists in people's minds. So it's what people think about your name and your resume. <coughs> and there's a concept called the loyalty, the loyalty ladder, which means different people that you're going to work with here at Turner are going to have different perceptions about you. 
Who do you think, at the end of your internship, will have the strongest perception of you and your work and your brand? Just one. Exactly. So imagine your immediate supervisor is the manager of marketing, let's say. Four or five steps up is the SVP of marketing in that group. What do you think that person's perception of you? Where do you think that person's going to get their perception of you, mostly? Anybody? Supervising. Supervising. Exactly. They're going to learn, she or he in that position is going to learn from your supervisor and, and so on. So perception is everything in this game. So at the end of the day, this internship is about selling your brand by influencing what people think about you. So let's go through, hopefully you got some pens and paper. I'm going to go through quickly. sitting back there from HR, uh, what do you want them to think about you and your internship performance and most importantly your potential? So as a hiring manager, when I consider bringing on an intern into a full-time position after graduation, I'm trying to base that decision based on that person's potential to do a job different than they did with someone before. So it's all about gauging your potential. So step number one. Any questions on that one? Step number two, just like anything you need to grow, you need to nourish your brand once you find out what it means. First and foremost, second chances don't exist, despite what you may think. So as soon as you walk into the room, your very first project, the very first time you meet that senior vice president, that's your one chance to make an impression. And you are going to make an impression one way or the other. It can be a Raymond Simone impression, or it can be a Chris Brown impression. But you will make one. Um, things I would say is to always be professional, creative, and resourceful while you're here. So that, yes, the obvious, you come up time and all that. You gotta dress appropriately for your particular group. Um, but find ways to do things that people haven't done before. To show them that you're valuable right at the top. Um, we're all here to learn, so demonstrate a willingness to learn. It's so vital when we talk about what our interns are going to do next for us. We're like, is this person really trying to absorb information? Is this person asking the right questions? Is this person trying to grow their skill set? It's really, really vital. Um, and everyone is here in, the in, in, in this internship, hopefully because you have an interest in entertainment. That needs to come to the top. If this is what you want to do, show your passion. And if you want to use this internship and at the end of it you figure out that entertainment is not what you want to do, that's completely fine. Use that experience for that. That's one thing you can check off that you don't want to do anything you like. Just be passionate about whatever it is. There'll be a networking exercise later through HR. I won't spend time on how to do it. But it isn't vital to network with key decision makers, but for all the right reasons. So it's more than just walking into someone's office and saying, hey, I want you to remember me because I want a job when I graduate. But ask them questions about themselves. People around Turner love to talk about themselves and how they got here. I'm one of them. I'll get to that in a minute. They love to talk about their background and what they did in their internship. People will never stop talking if you ask the right question. Um, we need hustlers to the step in front of the line. That's definitely that willingness to go above and beyond. This, the willingness to stand up and volunteer when you don't even know what you're volunteering for. That's a little hustle mentality. In my